you have a great deal of tax money being spent on higher education. Who benefits? Primarily the people who go to the institutions of higher education, the students. Where do they come from? They come disproportionately from the upper income classes. Even those of them who come from the lower income classes, as I myself did, are going to be converted by their college education in large part and by their own qualities into people in the upper income class. Those individuals from low income families who have the ability and the energy and the drive to go to college are the richer ones of the low income class. They are the ones who have personal wealth, personal qualities. In any event, the facts are clear. Graduates of college are, on the average, a very much higher income class than people who don't go to college. So what do you do? We impose taxes on everybody, including those who don't go to college, in order to subsidize the people who do go to college. As I say, when I want to be demagogic, we impose taxes on the people in Watts to send the children from Beverly Hills to college. That's a literally exact statement. There's no... Uh, it's, it, it's put demagogically... But the facts are literal. A study in the state of California some years back showed that 50% of the students at the state universities of higher education came from the top 25% of the income scale, and 5% came from the bottom 25%. What's true there is true everywhere. There is no social program in this country, in my opinion, which is so clearly a case of imposing taxes on low-income groups to benefit high-income groups as government subsidies to higher education. 